you don't go for, for years, for over two years, having a very strict control to going completely the other way. The amount of people who live in long-term care facilities or in senior home residences represents only 0.5% of the Quebec population, but they represented 50% of the deaths. Quebec easing restrictions in both private and public long-term care homes like these. For private ones known as RPAs, the government recommends up to 10 visitors can see residents and 10 people can eat at a table in dining rooms with proper distancing. Residents will also be free to visit common areas with their guests with some conditions. As of February 28th, these measures will also extend to public care homes known as CHSLDs. But with an increase of visitors and vaccines, vaccine passports no longer needed as of March 14th. Many are worried about the impact. You know, they've gone from one or two caregivers maximum per day to, hey, we can let in 10 and it doesn't matter if they're vaccinated. Is that, how about a gradual change? Not this radical change. It's like, oh, all right, COVID's over. Let, let, but COVID's not over. It's not over. Joyce Shanks's parents live in the Maimonides Geriatric Centre in Montreal's Côte Saint-Luc, a publicly run seniors' home. She says she doesn't agree with the easing of restrictions so quickly. Almost half of the facility is infected right now. We start to remove safety measures such as vaccine passports and up the amount of people walking in and remove sign-in as well. We've taken away any line of defense that we have to protect our loved ones who are the most vulnerable. Until recently, residents had to isolate if another resident or a worker on their floor tested positive for COVID-19, leaving many alone for days at a time. Patients' rights advocate Paul Brunet says the mental health impact has been heavy and easing restrictions is necessary if the situation allows for it. We have to understand that the more we isolate people, the more we have them lose their mental health, if not physical ability to walk, that's been a, a, a big problem already with the isolation of people. The social science tells us that visitors are important for our elderly, and, and I think that they are. We have to still make sure that the biological science is, is, is applied so that it can be done safely. For Beverly Spanier, a resident at Maimonides, she doesn't understand the rush to ease measures. I, I think it's a mistake. I'm just an individual in a nursing home who faced COVID, who saw it, who watched 60 people here die. I, I'm someone who's still concerned about this disease. Although I realize that it's been so hard on us to be locked into a room, not allowed out, not allowed to see the people we love, have all kinds of rules for if we wanted a physiotherapist, whatever we wanted. It was tough. It is tough. But to go the other way completely, that may be even tougher. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.